in the year 1886, rumors had spread throughout the northern belt of Ghana about the coming of the Europeans and the white man. These rumors had spread from the coastal regions all the way to the savannah region. Note that the people of Dagbon had never seen the white man. Various descriptions of this strange being had intrigued the people of Dagbon and they laughed and made fun of these descriptions. It was said that these were men with white skin and had long noses. They laughed and talked about how easy it would be to catch these human fishes with their fish nets and went about buying more fish nets in anticipation for the arrival of the white man. The people of Dagbon were still contemplating on what really the white man was. Were they monkeys or were they fishes? These rumors intensified as the German Empire started their military campaign. In the year 1896, the Germans had started their military campaigns up north, burning and looting of palaces in the name of claiming territories for the German Empire. The people of Dagbon were particularly hostile to foreign invasions and they fought bravely to counter all in forms of invasions to their land. Lieutenant Valentine von Masso was the commander of the Stutt Troop and the Askari paramilitary which fought alongside the German military. They moved from Pandai to Bimbila, overrunning many towns in between. They burnt and looted from palaces of the towns they had overrun on their way to Adim. After the fall of Bimbila, the Bumbla Na sent a messenger to inform the Yana of the fall of Bumbla. The Yana quickly sent messages all across the four corners of the kingdom. Sadly, the news did not get to all the towns before the Germans arrived at Adibo. The Dabong army 